Oxfam's joined with over 100 different organisations. We've written to politicians across the UK, calling on them to act now to protect carers, both paid and unpaid, from a growing poverty crisis. We want to see carers paid a real living wage, having access to a social security system that properly acts as a safety net. And we also want to see the social care and paid care system giving carers flexibility, decent terms and conditions, as well as right now access to the protections that they need to do their own job. And we know that PPE is a huge problem for paid carers. On the front line, PPE is in short supply. So we've got masks, but they're surgical masks and we're expected to use them for a whole day. We've got visors that people have made at home and donated to us. So I can tell you that from the front line, we're scared and we don't feel as though our government is keeping us safe because there isn't enough PPE. Paid carers might be having to make very difficult decisions about uh, shielding themselves and their family members of going to work and, and not being able to access social security to cope with that loss of income. And we've been pleased to see that the Scottish Government announced this one-off cash boost for unpaid carers within Scotland, but it's not going to reach all unpaid carers and it's certainly not a long-term uh, revaluing of care work that we're, we're keen to see as we come out of this crisis. We know that carers for a long time have been essentially plugging gaps in the social care system. We know that we all rely on care at some point in our lives and one in six of us will be carers at some point in our lives. Carers UK have been talking about caring behind closed doors as an issue and we want to open that up and start speaking directly to politicians about the reality of, of what it's like to be a carer. We know that the issues of care and gender are really closely linked and, and that comes down to an imbalance of caring responsibilities within the household. We see clap for carers every Thursday night and more generally um, I think everybody's been really heartened by public displays of um, support and solidarity for uh, carers. but. That's not yet been matched by the true valuing of care work by government. And I think our hope is that coming out of this crisis, we see a rebalancing of value on all key workers, but especially care workers who are really getting the country through this crisis right now.